overall a win, but that's that's the rundown of the Tifu Sitch. Uh, did you have uh, also some corrections to issue um, to Hassan Piker? Who uh, do yes. we, we misstate some things on the last? Fortnite episode has did? never had an FOV slider. Okay, then uh, what were you so mad about? <laughs> all right, so you would increase your field of vision by going into the game files and typing in the values you wanted for your. Ac- for <laughs> your just watching accident. Matt's face right now. <laughs> so it wasn't a slider; it was a hack, and now you can't do it. Anymore. It's not a hack, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Every every game allows you to do that, but or they have an FOB slider. Everyone could do it. How is it a hack if everyone could do it? That, that is textbook not what a hack is. It's not an exploit. Everyone did it. In fact, Fortnite said it was okay before the ESL Katowice tournament, and then just completely fucking took it out. Any FOV is fucking ridiculous for a first-person shooter. What the fuck do you think it's like for a third-person shooter where you're changing levels multiple times in 30 seconds? Matt is a contributor to the next uh, mega issue of the National Review against FOV <laughs> sliders. <laughs> How about uh, how about Ben Carson? Did you guys see Ben Carson <laughs> testify before about uh, he's the Housing and Urban Development Secretary now, and he was te- had to call before testifying before Congress tomorrow. I mean yesterday, and what I really love about that you saw that he confused uh, an REO, a real estate owned, with Oreo. He thought that that was very funny, and what I love about Ben Carson is he has somehow managed to just fly under the radar keep his head down, avoid any of the truly ludicrous corruption scandals like, what's his name, Zinke or the other guy? Pruitt. Guy, Pruitt, Scott Pruitt. Yeah. Uh, he did have that thing where his wife bought him like a giant throne. His, and his, a, wife, and a did, his wife did He bought him the table from Game of Thrones 30, with Westeros carved out of a, mahogany. A $30,000 table. My wife's, letting me, my wife's letting me make a shadow baby this year. <laughs> 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 but, uh... Ben Carson, just you know, he's like the he's the Trump appointee that's been there since the beginning. Yeah, that like is talked about the least. And it's amazing because in any other context, he would be just a daily source of hilarity and, and oafishness. But it, there's just so much happening that he is he's just getting forgotten, and it's kind of tragic. And and then he just shows up and like doesn't know anything. Uh, about oh right, I'm in charge of this department, but I have no idea what any of this means. I don't even know where I am right now. He sounded like he was barred out being quizzed by someone who's like spent nine years working even before she got in government on like the the issue of uh like housing and uh, that's gonna make you feel good right yeah well, if, you, if you care about things like that it's like yeah they just put this demented clown in charge of it and we're all just laughing at how he doesn't know anything okay well that hearing is a classic t- classic case of the old sports narrative hard work versus talent and this time, talent won. Ben Carson won. Well, he did buy the woman who uh, corrected him that Oreo was, in fact, not re- referring to the Oreo cookie. Uh, it's a speed wagon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, did, he did buy her a bag of Oreos and tweeted about it. So another, another fun joke. He also uh, today said that it was actually Alinskyite tactics. It was classic radical Alinskyite tactics to reveal that he doesn't know a basic function of his job. And you know, like I, I see the commentary in this, and I love seeing from like the uh, the the Carson defenders and the MAGA people. They always trot out the fact that he's a brain surgeon to be yeah. like, you call him an idiot. Like, can you do neurosurgery? And it's like, well, no, I can't. But I also don't think that the pyramids were used <laughs> to store grain, right? And that you know, angels talk to us every day. Yeah, it's it's all about. You know, skill sets are not transferable. I think we should all know that by now. Felix is a prime example of that. Which which skill set do I have? Gaming, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty old for that. Uh, let's just say I'm good, good at poster. everything that I've ever actually tried at. <laughs> yeah, like I think it's transferable. I mean, I could I could do the housing stuff. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> brain surgeons aren't exactly uh, exactly brain surgeons. <laughs> you know, I mean, really though, this is a little inside baseball for doctors, but. You know, non-surgeon doctors talk about surgeons like they're a bunch of jocks. They just want to get in there and get get the goop on their hands. <laughs> <laughs> they, like they're mechanics and they're very smart at what they do. But yeah, skills aren't transferable, and you can. I mean, think about it. To be a brain surgeon, you'd have to be a little nuts, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's, you're gonna that's go. Weird. You touch the wrong thing. This person's just dead, or you know, they're Frankenstein or whatever. You can touch the wrong part and can kick you in the head. That's not yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you do have to be a little psycho. And 
he was reputably a pretty good brain surgeon, right? Yeah. He was all right. I mean, he fucks well, the brains up, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. In a, any career, you're yeah, going to have yeah, a few Yeah, you're going to have some. Goofs. I mean, his famous thing was separating the conjoined twins. And I'm just imagining him, like, putting them on, like, just like a, a workshop table and then just bringing a miter saw <laughs> down. Like, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you. Uh, so one of the things I like to do is I like to go down like rabbit holes of like Westerners <laughs> responding to foreign wars because you will find the strangest people who are like deeply invested in a foreign war as Americans. And what did I find yesterday? But a cardiologist who's very convinced that 9-11 was an inside job. It takes all kinds. You know, there you can be incredibly, usually if you're incredibly competent at one thing beyond what any normal person will be at anything in their lives, You'll have some deficiencies everywhere else. Well, let but me you're a little psycho. Let me ask you this. Let's say you have a brain issue and, you know, you need to get the ghosts out or whatever they're doing. And uh, Ben <laughs> Carson. Trepanation. Yeah, Ben Carson says, uh, I'll do it for you. Would you go with him or would you pick, like, a random other guy? Well, now. A random hasn't... other guy who's not a doctor? No, 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 no. no, no. Well, like, another from the pool of, of, of. Certain brain surgery. Well, well I, mean, I would always get a younger one because. Yeah. Well, well his I mean, hands. okay, fine. Let's say Ben Carson in his prime. In his prime, Ben Carson. Okay. One hundred percent. I would. I would choose another guy. I, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I just, I don't want someone who fucking thinks angels talk to him well, digging what do you around think in he's my head. Put the Bible in your brain. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's why. That's how he can be an adult who goes around being like, I think the angel Hezekiah talked to me, is because he's so good at this one thing. It's the same reason musicians, besides Keith Buckley and Andy and all the other musicians that we know, can do all the bad things that they do. <laughs> I'm right. You know that I'm right. Uh, okay, fine. I'd let Ben Carson fuck with my brain. <laughs> I'd, I'd let him get the goof on his <laughs> <laughs> inside. Ben Carson. I'd let him just, like, just dig around in there. Ben Carson gives great brain. <laughs> you know, 90% of the job is just when you're, like, talking to the patient before the surgery. And, you know, you're just saying encouraging things like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in there and I'm going to root it out. You know, we're going to win this together, slugger. Yeah. Well, if I was a brain, I wouldn't do any of that, like, together shit. It's like, you're the reason we're both here. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you and got... your shitty brain fucked up. No, now. you got it. It's like uh, when the basketball players touch hands after free throws, it increases the percentage. Does it really? Yeah. That's why they do it. Uh, there still is magic in this world. All right, here's another uh, quick news item. Are, are you guys aware now that uh, QAnon people have started drinking bleach because they think it's a natural cure? Yes. I'm in, I approve, approve of it. Go for it. <laughs> Are have, you know, have a blast. So uh, the, the genesis of this is uh, I found this guy, um, uh, Jordan Sather, who's, of course, a YouTube guy uh, and a QAnon guy uh, who's just, you know, he did a video where he drinks bleach uh, to prove that the FDA and news media are lying about natural cures like bleach mm -hmm. that they don't want you to know about. Mm -hmm. He says, I've drank MMS, a.k.a. chlorine dioxide, brushed my teeth with it, breathed it. Cleaned with it, used it topically, he wrote. If MMS was a toxic bleach, I should be dead. Sorry, FDA and fake news media, you lose this one. <laughs> ah, damn it. Yeah, no. I, I just love the, like, John, like, just the reptiles and the Rothschilds are like, we needed to convince them that bleach was poisonous for some reason. <laughs> Well, he says um, uh, the Food and, Drug, Food and Drug Administration, of course, labels it uh, an industrial bleach. Um, and his tweet was in response to an NBC News story about private Facebook groups and YouTube channels that push parents to use MMS as a cure for autism by feeding them to children or dumping them in baths filled with bleach. This makes sense. I, I love oh, this. this sounds good. <laughs> this is the perfect circularity of this. Just you're being you're such a fucking rube that you don't vaccinate your kid because you're worried they're gonna get autism. Then they get autism, and then you're like, all right, I'm just gonna give them I'm waterboarding them with bleach. It's delightful. You'll love to see it. Well, if you get bleach on your kid, it's sort of like a uh, ink bomb in a uh, like money you steal from a bank. Like you can trace <laughs> the adrenochrome that the Podesta stole from them <laughs> by how much bleach was in it. It's actually pretty smart. These people are actually pretty smart. <laughs> So, I mean, I was just thinking about the uh, drinking bleach and uh, the reports from that, that Trump rally this week where just like people were just falling out from heat stroke. And it was not that hot. It was, and I got to say, you know, it was like, summer hoops uh, season. Temperature. Yeah, it was Everything outdoor got, summer hoops weather. Everything comes full circle. You know the best part about that? You know that Trump was playing memories from cats before that? 
<laughs> Wait, over like that was his yeah, like, that was like his entrance song. music. The song Memories from Imagine Cats. Imagine you're like a 70 year old, <laughs> a 70 year old like muffler wholesaler <laughs> who's just like the most hateful person in your neighborhood. None of your kids talk to you, but you're like, ah, at least I could see, you know, we got a real man in there now. And <laughs> you just listen, you're just listening to cats and baking in your fucking Tommy Bahama polo. <laughs> and then you completely <laughs> collapse. But you wake up in the hospital and they're like, sir, you collapsed. You owe us $50,000. And you're like, God damn it. Well, can I go back out there and see Trump speak? And you're like, you've been out for two days. You missed Donald Trump calling Jesse Water is very handsome for 45 minutes. <laughs> God damn it! I also like the idea that uh, he's hydrating with one of those, like, uh, like uh, the, the baseball helmets with the beer cans in it with the straws, except it's just, like, a bleach solution. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I put a little bleach in this water to, uh, you know. I just love the idea of someone, they're dying, their last thing they hear on earth is memories and then trump talking about going to the cable ace awards with daisy duke <laughs> you know and i i met i met uh, i met Catherine bach much nastier than what you saw on the show but but we could have had it we could, couldn't i add it uh my favorite news story from recent trump rallies is uh you know uh, so in QAnon, there's that conspiracy theory that jfk jr is alive and well and he's yep. just some random he's Q. guy no, jfk jr is Q. he's q uh, yes, i yes but mean, he's the, also this guy vincent fuchsia who goes to trump rallies and it is so funny the guy looks nothing, nothing like, like RFK. Nothing. He's just some guy. He has a rodent face. <laughs> he doesn't. He has a lagomorph. <laughs> to my no, he's like a fedora guy who's like a full foot shorter than RFK yeah. Jr. was. Well, they did. They did uh, plastic surgery. They cut out part of his shin. Okay, yeah, he did he's the like reverse, Cotton Hill. He did yeah. the reverse Gattaca surgery. <laughs> I never saved anything from the swim back from my plane. So the guy just wears a, he just goes around wearing a blazer with American fly pants. He's not like wearing a t-shirt that says I am JFK. He's never claimed that he is. He doesn't even claim. He's just a guy who was in a picture that like legions of, you know, insane people are just like, yep, that's him. You're JFK. I see you. And And he's going with it because why wouldn't you? Yeah. So he just hangs out at the rallies and people just get their pictures taken with him. And I guess he, you know, sells them dinars or something. Oh, God. Do you think he's getting laid out there? Do you think he's constantly not ass, dude. That constantly. guy, that guy is slaying MAGA milfs. <laughs> <laughs> you you can't well, you, uh, you can't go into his uh, his van when there's a diabetic sock tied on the door. Oh my god, that dude is fucking. He's the Will Chamberlain of the MAGA. <laughs> that's <laughs> just King. what's that's... a blumpkin when you're getting blown on a mobility scooter? <laughs> what's it? I mean, everything's a blumpkin if you have a colonoscopy bag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes. That's just the best life, right? Oh, just, God. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. Going, just like, it's like just going to concert to concert. Just banging MAGA gurdy yeah, just after hanging MAGA out. Dirty. Just, just looking at the photos of those guys and him posing with everybody, it just looks like the old Republican version of a fish concert. Yeah, that's he's, what it is. Yeah, he's smiling. He's, he's having a great time. He's got the drip. The yeah. He's selling nitrous balloons. Yeah, yeah exactly. Doses, man. The <laughs> smile on that guy's face is is pure joy. He's yeah. having, Of all the QAnon people, of all the Trump uh, supporters, he is having the absolute best time. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I support him. He's, yeah. like, he's going to be like the almost famous guy, but for MAGA rallies. He has has just that uh, every woman he has sex with, he takes with him one of their pieces of bridge work. <laughs> <laughs>